Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got a very important topic I want to talk about today, but before we get into that, I just want to take this time to seriously thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to the channel. I reached over 19,000 yesterday, actually bringing in 19,050. So thank you so very much. Tomorrow will be a live stream. I will be doing a live stream discussion because that worked out well last week. Last Wednesday and Thursday, I did about an hour live stream on both days and we just talked about a topic and I thought it worked really well. So tomorrow we'll be doing that also, so I don't know what the topic is going to be on. I'm thinking about maybe, you know, the whole Ezra Miller writing the Flash script and the Batman logo appearing. Suddenly, that's the Batman logo. We're not officially sure if that's the Batman logo, but we might be talking some DC stuff tomorrow. But, um, yeah, I just want to really take this time to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to the channel. Now, with that said, let's get into today's topic. So, yesterday I put out a video, I put out a video every day, and of course every day I get certain morons in the video that just wants to write stupid, dumbass comments to try to, to try to trigger me, I guess, to try to trigger other subscribers, I don't know, I don't care, I don't, at this point I don't bite anymore, I, I barely even respond to them sometimes, so what this, this jackal said was, you know, because now they've tried everything. These trolls have tried everything to, to make Captain Marvel look bad. And Captain Marvel's like, nope, still going. You know, it's got empty seats. Aubrey Larson doesn't like white men. Like, now, now we're saying that Captain Marvel is racist, people. Racist. Racist is not a very good word you should just throw around. Racist is a very strong word. You shouldn't just be throwing this thing around like Oprah throws cars to people. Like you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be like you're a racist and you're. A, you shouldn't be doing that. And the reason why this this idiot is justifyingly saying that Captain Marvel is racist and Marvel Studios in general is racist is because the first Captain Marvel, the first female Captain Marvel, was Monica Rambo, who is a black female character and she was first debuted as Captain Marvel and Amazing Spider-Man annual number 16 in 1982. So first off, let me start by saying I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm not, I never once claimed I'm a diehard Captain Marvel fan. I know everything about the character. I know everything about Carol Danvers. I've always preached I'm an Amazing Spider-Man fan. I love Spider-Man. I own almost every comic book. Apparently I don't own an annual 16, but um, I didn't know. I did not know. So I did some research. I looked it up. Monica Rambeau is a little girl in the movie. Obviously, they went a different route with the source material. This is not big news. It doesn't mean that Marvel's racist. It doesn't mean Marvel's racist at all. It just means to me, like, well, maybe Monica Rambeau wasn't a more recognizable name as Captain Marvel because Carol Danvers has been Captain Marvel for a while now. And she's very much been on top of the Marvel comic books. Like, she's been up there. She's been in almost every major storyline. So Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel has been a pretty big character. So... This is why this is, to me, not racist. I could be completely wrong. But it, to me, Marvel Studios and the MCU has never stayed 100% to any of the source material. The reason why I hate Spider-Man Homecoming so much is because they went completely away from the source material. I mean, you got a little of everything in that movie. I mean, they take they take the character of Genki from the Miles Morales comic books, rip the character out, put him in Homecoming, change his name to Ned Lees, who's a completely different character. Then they have, you know, Iron Man being the big mentor to Spider-Man. You got MJ, who isn't really MJ. Aunt May looks like someone I want to bone, which should never be my Aunt May. You know, um... I mean, what, what do you want me to do? They change source material all the time. Look look at the ancient one. The ancient one, they changed into, like, Hilda Swinton as the ancient one. The ancient one isn't supposed to be a white female. I mean, they change stuff all the time. Jarvis is a is an AI. In the comics, he's a butler. Uh, Hank Pym created Ultron. In the movies, it was Tony Stark. I mean, they changed the source material so much. In the comics, I mean, you look at Nebula, Nebula in the comic books is completely different than Nebula in the MCU. So I just look at this as, oh, well, they just changed this to fit the narrative. 
You know, doesn't mean Monica Rambeau won't be a big deal later on in the comic books, even though she was established in 1982 in the annual Spider-Man number 16 as Captain Marvel. And from what I read, she had like seven or eight aliases. Like Captain Marvel was her first appearance. And then she kind of became like so many different other names that it was like that. It's like she's not strictly Captain Marvel. She would just play Captain Marvel for a while. And at that time, there was already a pre-existing Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, who was Captain Marvel. So, it's complicated. Marvel Comics, DC Comics, the comic books are always complicated. Does this mean that Captain Marvel in the MCU is racist? I don't think so. I think that's a bullshit story. It's like, oh, well, they had to put a white character in here to make her Captain Marvel, and she wasn't even a real Captain Marvel, Rob. You're not talking about that, Rob. How come you're not talking about that? What I didn't know. And I'm willing to bet that 99% of the people watching this video didn't know that. So you can come up with your empty seats conspiracy, you can come up with your whole Brie Larson doesn't like white guys. You can come up with the cows jumping over the moon. I don't care. You guys come up with so much batshit fucking crazy excuses on why you want to boycott this movie, make this movie fail, yet this movie keeps on ticking. I don't understand it. There are so many other things to complain about. And I got news flash for you guys. Kevin Feige came out and said the future of the MCU is diversity. We're going to start to get more and more diverse characters. We got that one, um, the Kung Fu type movie coming out for the MCU. I can't pronounce the name. Was it Shang-Chi or something like that? And they got the, the Asian director who directed The Glass Castle, a movie that I personally like. That's coming out, guys. We're going to get an all-female Avengers. We're going to get the Black Widow standing alone movie. The future of the MCU is diversity. If you can't handle that, then don't go to the movies. Stop bitching about it. It's not going to change, no matter how many false, fake headlines you try to put out there. But until next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.